Hello, Hello and welcome, welcome to Brecken Law Ball, the North of Premier League match between Stockbridge Parkfield and Pontefract Colliery. And your colleagues are going to have a lot of and this commentary is sponsored by Jason Rawson, Tarpit, Fitter and Sire. It's another tough challenge to steal today. They look to just get over the line and keep themselves in the North of Premier League East for another season. And it's a tough match against Pontefract Colliery, a very different one to the one that came to Brecken Law last year. Last time, Steel's challenge for the playoffs, this time it's Pontefract. And when we played contract, contract last year, year it, it was a team that was already pretty much done the year. It's not getting relegated, it's not been proud, and the Steelers were able to have a fairly comfortable 2 0 victory. With contract looking to cling on to fifth place in the league, it's definitely not going to be comfortable today. So we'll go through the team with for you now. So to stop with it, Ben Townsend in goal, and it's Tom Charles, Jordan Lemon, Luke Hogg, Charlie Ogilvy, Alex O'Connor, Curtis Turner. Ross Goodwin, Luke Rawson, Thomas Poole, and Jack, Jack Watson. Watson. The bench is Bailey Baker, Jack Norman, Carl Rossin, Ollie Novak, and Alex Phillipson. So, how did you back today? It's, it's Lloyd Allinson, Ingle Alden, Hayden Lindley, Harry Spratt, Jack Van, Jack, Van, Jack, Jack Sears, Daniel, Daniel Burns, Callum Nysel, Thomas Smy, Adam Moore, Bailey, Bailey Thompson, and Jack, Jack Doyle. Their bench, bench is Oliver Metcalf, Miles Labastide, Joshua, Joshua Burns, Louis Dalton, and, and a reserve keeper in Ryan Musselwhite. Yes, yes, we do have to be very careful how we pronounce one, one of those, but substitutes for Pontifrats. So, as, as some of our fans go past, including the plate, don't be careful about that one, but we did it just as a like, casual insult to one, one of the fans every time. time. I'm we, we have, have a commentary. commentary. We, we are, are just moments away, away from kick-off here. But the captain, captain to, oh, sorry, I just went to my mind. That's not going to go. That won't sound, sound great. This is very professional, this commentary, commentary already. I was, I was trying to be better today. I'm going to try and put yourself out. You better than then. I'll just whack the mic phone as I've tried to get my stopwatch up. On contract ones. On kick-off. So we'll begin in, in just a short moment. moment. Mr. Rush will be our referee today. A more senior veteran of the game. And that will be starting in just a few minutes. Oh, Jack Doyle and Jack Doyle are going to be starting for the game. Jack Doyle and Jack Doyle are going to be starting for the game. Jack Doyle and Jack Doyle are going to be starting for the game. And here we go. So, Pond Track Lottery has dropped the game from the day. His blue shirt, black socks, and black socks sticking from right to left. Why all? It's stuck with the in the yellow and the blue the 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 Potential for team names. So, Smythe is on its very central low. Lock the ball into the box. Rawson heads away. Right. Pull to touch it on, but it's, it's just going to go back, back now. Pong back, but Pull will do the challenge. Bounce in the air. And then back, Pong back, very tame position. He goes to Nice out. Touch forward. And the look at turn is tall, but he goes down. He passes it to Smythe. Out to the right hand side to Boyle, who's. Just looks to say, gets it to the right wing. Ball goes into the middle. It's all the heads into the central. Lawson goes to the center again. Back, back with Van now, and then out to the right hand side with Sears. And back, back with Sears after a one, two, now side to Van. Then it goes forward. And Stockbridge has got to press Pond track out here. The ball goes into the box, which is going to bounce favorably for all Townsend who claims it. Paul was a man hovering, trying to the problem. Laying out here for Charles. Now, two balls. It looks like we're playing a 4-3-3 for Ross Goodwin at centre back today, which we saw back in January, February. We looked at him out of the illness on Saturday and while he got affected, he was going to be enough and started with a Craig Rouse is going to be a loud presence on the touchline for Pontiac as he usually is. You can actually hear his team talking. You can put him below the window on the dressing room here. It was 
and you Christian to into it. You want to catch those balls and try to go through, but it's too far away for O'Connor to get onto the end of it. Allison has it and is quickly got it out towards Nigel. Well, one by one, you know, in that area. Watch the ball down. Got some many runs and get sticks to the bag and it will be a free kick in a dangerous position for Stockbridge. About 25 yards out on that left hand side. This is where Hamilton will probably begin to shoot in range. It is real time between that goal. It's a noise as well. We're going to have a few there. Anything else happening across the little other member of the East? There is some other little bit of goal. We'll tell you about short and every night hard. Well, I'll thank you for the local, local, local pictures. Here you come, pull, free kick. kick. Take, Take the shot, block by the wall, and then clear it on the edge of the area. Charles will be looking to get onto this, and he will head it further into the air, pull, head it back, he'll be back to the top, but ends up being more defensive, and pulls on the first side, he'll get it to the odds. Nice will put out, and then stop the ball, and he'll just go back to the ground here. So, yes. Some, some other goals, goals they got in the North Ferry East. Ali Almir has put Bridlington 1-0 on North Ferry. North Ferry being our next opponent in Bridlington and our next opponent after that. And then Dale Pearson has got a red card for Dunstan. That's a huge blow going into that promotion running for them. Ponty on the left hand side goes out with their throwing. Smart takes it quickly. Fine for and Left hand side, side for into, into the middle. Lemon plays it away. He's playing left back, back today. Van will play it over to the right wing and then back to Van it goes and on to the right again. Contract probing. Van ball over the top to the right hand side. Lemon intercept. He's just kept in his own corner. He's going to get back to Van and Van will have to get in that position before he's packaged and intercepted by Ogden Hoggle. Carry forward now to Watson who can't get past but it's tackling the back to Pontypridd. The wayside, I mean, a bit quite a bit of balls. Ball goes to Tuban, who is looking for the pass in the middle, and it's passing to the right Goodwin, who gets it out to Turner, who drops deep, and Turner will get it over to Charles on the right side, who pings the ball through the middle, but that is headed away by Spratt, and into the middle goes. Hogg tries to get a kick on that, but Pontypridd will retain possession as it goes over to Nysel on the right side, who's Comes forward, forward and then goes sideways to Thompson. No, no, he's too far away. And then right, right now, by to Nysel. He's been forced backwards and trying to turn him around, but he's only been forced further backwards a bit. And back, back he goes into central defense. We've got Jack Sears now. Now to Burns. And then Walshman will put the press for Burns. We'll get it over to Strat. Strat puts the ball forward. It's a good looking ball. Oh, taken well. And then the ball comes on oil. It's, it's blocked down, it will be a corner kick to Pontypridd. We are currently five minutes into this game and it's nil-nil here. Now that's a move to the live and up to Pontypridd and behind. We're attacking at the moment. Sound issue, Adam. Ooh, we got sound issue. We will have a look in that up. We will have a look. We're not entirely sure what it is at the moment, but as well punched away, any elaboration on that sound issue would be great. We have changed some of the settings on our YouTube to try and be quicker, but maybe that is contributed and we will see a change in the world. Yeah. We tried to change latency today to basically try and help it. Yeah, we might do. So, that's not something to do. Echoing every word. Ah, right. Perhaps I can cancel off. We'll see. Right, okay, so. That echo should be over now, hopefully. I believe a button got pressed down that shouldn't be. So, dude, let me know if it's still echoing.
Pontefract on the ball on the left-hand side. Tried to finger ball over to the left, but it's going out play for a steals throw in. For reasons I can't work out, this, this soundboard does have an echo function. Charles throws it forward, headed it way back to Poole, who will ping it forward and be headed right back towards Thompson, who controls well, but it's only going to bounce out and be Pontefract's throwing. Back for Spratt, now to take the strings. Pontefract with more of the ball in these early parts of the game. They try to put the ball into the middle after that throw, but Oversby heads away. Pool will flick on. Rawson trying to get past his man. Well marshaled away by Nysel. And then ends up going out for another Pontefract throw in. So definitely Pontefract definitely more of the ball. 74% possession for Pontefract so far in this game. Ball goes forward. Pontefract trying to get onto the ball again. Fighting with returner. Lots of shirts being pulled for Charles just boots that way. Watson might get on the end of that though. Watson goes on the right hand side, trying to get the beating of Lindley. Watson has to pick it back, lays it off the pool. Pool puts it across and it's cleared away before it gets to Rawson. Steers with a vital clearance. Corner kick here. Sausage. Sorry, I'm making my food order here at the same time because I didn't get lunch. And I am starving. So I need my half time snack sorted. Cool, pings the ball in towards the far inside. Over his head. And then over for Hogg now, who will claim it. And he gets past one man. Hogg tries to put the ball into the box and he's tackled as he does so. And it will be a free kick in a really dangerous spot. In the comments, Ian Sutton before the game said the East Bunny's putting in a special request, a special three point request. I'm hoping for that too, as well. So we should do chocolate, if not, or crisps. I think just no, just like a normal chocolate. Sorry, I'm doing a forward on. He may have picked that up on the microphone. Very professional. Very, very professional. Pool puts in a corner. Almost goes in. Allison has to claim that under his bar. Ah, thank you. We just had confirmation that a sound issue has been sorted. Good. With Allison currently on the ball here. Ten minutes gone in this game. Rins nil-nil at the moment. Steals have just had there. Best football of the game so far. But now it is Pontefract on the football here. And they lose it to O'Connor. Tried to send one through for Rawson. But he is going to be beaten for pace by Steers. Who passes it now back to Allington. Who slides the ball forward. Goes to Watson. But it's a heavy touch from him. And it will be back with Allington. That was a potential opportunity. An error from the goalkeeper. Who... Gave it right to Watson, but Watson's touch was too heavy and it went back to him. It's a let off of the goalkeeper. A big moment a couple of years ago in this fixture was an er error from Allinson, which steals down to 10 men. He gave the ball to Ben Partridge, who then was able to loop it over his head and make it 1 0 in that last minute. Allinson here, who remains, who's probably one of the longest serving goalkeepers in the MPL East now. He. He made another error there, but Watson's got onto a long ball there. Uh, he's been forced further wide into the box and out of it. Out for Poole, who has to double back to get it. Back to O'Connor. He's uh, Charles is asking for a switch as O'Connor gives it back to the left-hand side to Poole. Poole looks for a ball into the middle, headed away. He goes back to Turner, will head it back into the box. Watson tries to flick it on, and then we'll get the volley, and it's not far off. Hit it very well, but it just goes wide as far post. Allenson it couldn't do anything about that, whatever way it went. More goals to tell you about in the MPL East. Dunstan are ahead against Newton Aycliffe. We haven't seen who the goal scorer is yet for that. They're 1 0 for Newton Aycliffe, despite being down to 10 men. Grimsby Borough are 1 0 up on Cleefops in what they call the El Hadico. Cameron Gardner has scored for Grimsby Borough. Carlton 1 0 up on Grantham. Niall Hilton has scored. While Winterton are 1 0 up on Brighouse in that six pointer. We have a break in play due to an injury and actually what will be a substitute. It looks like Oliver Metcalf is going to make an early sub.
that with. So it's a big early blow for Pontifax here. We're just trying to identify who it is. It's, it is Jack Van heading off. He's someone who can make this Pontifax team tick. But, so it would be a huge, huge blow to have him going for. He does get replaced by Liver Metcalf, who is a veteran of this level and a very good player himself. It's when you like having this strength on the bench, when you basically have a player who's going to have to do 80 minutes at least. Another goal comes in as we were having this change. More. Henry Moore has got another for Winston. Now they are 2 0 up on Brighouse, while Belper are 1 0 up on Sheffield. Curtis Burroughs has scored. Sheffield have been in fantastic form. Helped by their temporary home ground of Bracken Moor, I think. How that changes the league table. Stocksbridge um, would remain 10 points currently with the 0 0 here over Grantham. Winston will not climb off the bottom with that win. And just to let you know that we, because we don't know how the reprieves are going to work from step three, will they come into step four or if anyone's failed ground grading in this league? That last place, it could end up being very important. Turner's trying to make his way through a few players. Does get it to the left to Lemon, but gets a clatter in as he does do so. And then there is a Lemon's pass is intercepted. No advantage given, I thought there might be, as Pontefract looked to get the counter-attack. Ping a ball brilliantly over to the left to Smythe. One touch into the middle to Boyle. Takes a shot and it's not far off. Off though, I think Townsend had covered that. A appeal from a corner kick from the Pontefract bench, which are not given. So yeah, some the lot bottom two places, it's not rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. Who comes bottom will matter if there is a ground grading relegation. If they do a reprieve that counts for the highest points. So Winston trying to climb off the bottom is very important for them trying to stay in this league. Depending on how it works. Half the relegations in this league over the last few years have been decided at, at a boardroom and not on the pitch. Looks like I've got a packet of crisps. The sausage rolls have obviously ran out. Ah. Uh, Disappointing. I forgot to get one. So, oh, I, the order was wrong. I'm going to. Oh, fair enough. So now the waiter's done all right. Just got me an extra chocolate. But, yeah, don't you fit with the? I'm not. Can't say that on air. As Watson here is on the left hand side, bearing down on the left, cuts inside to Turner. Who's first for over out wide, but he's going to be forced back now. Almost gets tackled, but Hogg comes in and sweeps up. Back to O'Connor, who's on the left at the moment. Finds the overlap of Hogg. Great play from Stocksbridge. Hogg tries to get beyond his man. Blocked by Pontefract. It's the Steel's first corner of the game. Second. Oh, it's second corner of the game. I mean, distracted by my food delivery. Pull will take this corner. Yes, there was another corner. It went over everyone's heads. Pulled back on corner duties. Luke Hogg took them during the break, during the, on Saturday's game. He's going to aim for the near post, cleared away at the near post. We'll go back to Hogg now, who's come out to the box. Tries to find pull, blocked off, and Hogg trying to fight to keep it, but Pontefract's able to get it away, and they've kept it in. Ah, as I say, they kept it in. They haven't kept it in. That's too hot still. I'm going to have to mute the mic every so often if I get that too hungry. I don't have one of those shut off things up, but it still brings an outside noise. So we have another throw in that's cleared out. Winston are now 3 0 up on Brighouse within 14 minutes. It's Russell Burke has scored the latest. Brighouse must have thought they were going to have. Brighouse are being dragged into that. Five, only five points above Grantham in 18th place. Now back to Hogg, who gets tackled, and it will be another throw in. Lemon will take. Looking for the runner, Rawson on the left-hand side gets it, but he's been surrounded by two Pontefract players. He's blocked off and out for a throw near the corner flag. Currently 17 minutes gone in this game. 
Phone goes in, but he's intercepted and cleared away. It's a race to get onto it. Goodwin should have the pace on him. Sliding tackle, knocks it away, but only gets it to Hall. And now, here comes the attack. I can it's a big, siving challenge from Oglesby. That is going to end up in the bucket. It was late on Smythe. Surely going to be a yellow card for that one. Pontefract players very hopelessly shouting for the red card. I would very much doubt it. It would not be a red card incident, I don't think. Because I think he was in charge. In control of the tackle, just mistimed it. And it will be a yellow card for Charlie Oglesby. Chesterfield, who are already getting promoted, they're 1-0 down to Kidderminster. Kane Hemmings has put them ahead. Here comes a ball down the left-hand side. Who tried to take it quickly, McGough. Was intercepted by Hogg, who tried to find Watson, but that was intercepted by Smythe. And here comes Boyle coming forward with the ball. He's close to the edge of the box here. We're also with his own sliding challenge. And forces the back pass to Boyle, who takes a long-range effort. Took a block, and it will be a corner kick. Liam Addison has equalised for Newton Aycliffe. They're 1-1 against Dunstan now. One of our local teams could be relegated today, Rotherham United. At the moment, as the result stands, they will be getting relegated. Tried a low corner here. Ponspray didn't work. Turner's intercepted it. and then, But then he's been tackled by Metcalf, who gets tried to get it back to the right-hand side. Off target and will be a throw-in. I don't believe there is actually a goal in the championship at all yet, other than the early fixture, which Leicester City won 3-1. That win being sealed by a former steal in Jamie Vardy. As it's now about with Lemon, who throws it downfield to Rawson, but it's been headed by Nysel out of play again for another throw. Out with Lemon now. Who will take his time. But again, sending it right down the line, looking for Rawson, who does head it on. Watson gets it under control, back heels it, trying to find Rawson, who's wrestled away from the ball before he can get to it. Nothing given, and Stockbridge tried to marshal it out, and then actually punts back, clear it off Rawson, and get the throw in towards the away side. Don't know what Rawson could do. He was getting held before to try and break onto that, but nothing given. Punts back being marshaled further backwards here. Throwing sent in and headed backwards by O'Connor and then ricochets off a few players before he falls back to O'Connor. Trying to get down the left to Rawson who's trying to turn but is tackled. And now with Smythe the ball goes and he eventually just knocks it off Rawson and gets another throw in basically in an identical position to what it was before. 20 minutes gone and this game remains nil-nil. Ball thrown in. O'Connor heads away. A bit of head tennis between the two sides before it Falls upon Strax, who send it long and headed on, but no one's there. Only Goodwin, who will return that downfield, pit, but no one is going to ever get to that. And Allenson will just pick it up. Well, not pick it up, he takes it to his feet. And then takes it into the box. Concert, a 1-0 up on Stockton. Ben Ramsey scored. Are Stockton bottling it? A theory. They lost on Saturday to Carlton, and now they're losing 1-0 to Concert. Hebben, their nearest team in second place, so who have a game in hand on three games in hand on them as well, are not playing today. Their game against Ashton was postponed due to what I paid. Did Allison pick it up outside the box? I'll be honest, despite the Steels fans appealing for it, I think he was just on the line as he did so. As Goodwin heads it back to Watson, who chests it down, and that's been claimed by, by Lindley, who will pass it back to Allison. No picking up there, he is outside his box as well. Rolls it out in front. And now we'll ping it forward. Looking for Thompson, but it's gone beyond him. Charles Huff gets away, then good into shot to Poole. Poole will give back to Charles Huff, who will clear it away. Looking for Watson, but instead it's just going to end up back to Hogg, and he sends the ball on, but that's a hopeful one that will be back with Allenson. <coughs> Allenson taking his time with it. Picks it up. He is well in his box this time. There'll be no question on that one. Uh, 
take. I think he's taking his time with it, Allenson. Sending it long, but O'Connor will head it back looking for for Watson, but it was intercepted and now cleared away by Burns, and that will be back with Townsend. At the moment, we seem to be in a cycle of big clearance, goes to the goalkeeper who clears it, and then it goes to the goalkeeper. Not exactly a great advert for non-league football at the moment, especially for those who might have tried it for the first time with it being an Easter Monday, and there not being much else to do. Ball just gone all the way through to Turner here. Turner back to Poole, who puts it over the top for Rawson. Rawson, I think, just stayed on side here. He's got some options in the middle. Puts it in the middle and almost knocks at the far post. It just goes beyond the back of his heel. Should be 1-0 for the Steels. It is going to be a stock that's throwing. I'm guessing a Pontefiat player did get enough of a touch onto it. Whichever one did, what great defending from him. Ball goes into the middle but headed away. Back for Hogg who tries to get to the left-hand side of the box. No one's there for it. And Lindley will be able to clear it without much pressure. As it's now just with the midfield. As nice a little try to escape Cheshire. But it goes, Steele's getting it. Gets it to Rawson. Now Watson comes off. Watson's got space. He's going to take the shot. But it's straight to Allenson. Watson is the liveliest player for the Steels at the moment. But he's not. Yet. He shrugged off the ball. Now there's an unhappy Craig Rouse at the moment. He heads it up into the air. Headed forward by Smythe over to the right wing. Nice, I mean. And then but Lemon has it. And Lemon will look to get it to his own line before clearing away. He's getting closer and closer to his own goal. There as Metcalf picks up on that clearance. To the edge of the area it goes. But they lose the ball. And Oglesby will clear it away for Stocksbridge. But it's only going to go back for Lindley. Who's going to allow that to go out for a Pontefract throw. 24 minutes gone. Nil nil, it remains. Those steals having a few opportunities. Going down the line, going to go towards the right wing before Thompson, but he's tackled and Ogilvy will clear. Ross and try to get onto that, but it's just going to go back to Burns, who puts it to the right hand side. Steele's pressing high up at the moment as Steers tries to get out of trouble, but he's tackled by Hogan. Now Watson puts the ball through looking for Rawson. Rawson tries to the physical battle with Burns. Burns wins the physical battle. Gets the ball back to Allenson and Allenson not far off having the ball cleared off Watson there. It's going to go out for a Stocksbridge throw in. No more goals to tell you about from the Witch Grounds. Nothing local happening yet, yet either. Both Sheffield Wednesday and Rotherham nil nil in their battles against relegation from the Championship. Rawson taking a touch for Pontefract, but a clearance away. Ogilvy will head it right back to O'Connor, but he loses out on that bounce ball before Hogg goes in. And a free kick is given for a late coming in on Hogg. So a free kick for Stocksbridge, just on the halfway line, over close to that far in the pitch near our advertising audience. Just wanted to let you know that advertising audience are available for next season if you want to get in touch with Roger Gissin at rpg.sps at mail.com. It, any sponsorships are helpful, and you could even sponsor the stadium or the stand. Come on, wouldn't your business be brilliant if it was, if you got it the Bracken Moor named after it? Your business stadium. Ball goes to Turner, trying to get the beat of the man, get space, puts the ball in, cleared away. Now looking for Watson, who will try and head it to further reform, but it will go out for a throw in. Good play from Curtis Turner, but ends up being cleared away. The final ball. Throwing goes forward. Thompson trying to control, but he's tackled Turner. Trying to get it, but it, it, there was a foul there, so it will be a free kick to Pontefract. Taking some time, this free kick, but we will let it. Contract to actually pushing men forward. They're going to try and see if they can send this free kick. That is probably about 10, 15 yards into their own half into something that could turn into a potential dangerous attack. Ball going forward here, but it will end up bouncing in the box or going to Townsend. Townsend looks to keep clean sheet. Disappointing performance from him on Saturday. A mistake leading to the third goal, which Kenyon Farah scored for Grimsby Borough. Townsend's ball is going to go all the way now back to. 
Allinson. So he will get the same chance to return the ball now. He takes his time with it and will now boot it well forward. Hogg's going to be the one to try and get ahead onto it. Does do it, but just going to go back for Spratt, who will get this well forward. Oglesby heads away. Only back, though, to Boyle, who advances forward. Boyle takes a shot, but blocked by Goodwin. Goes to Watson. Heavy first touch, but gets back to Uhog, who sent the ball forward for Rawson. Straight on that left wing. He's in a battle with Steers now. Tries to get beyond him. In. First touch is heavy, but it gets beyond him, and then he's fouled. And a free kick is given. Free kick about 40 yards out. A chance for Poole to put the ball into the box. Some other big score lines so far in across the, the country I've noticed. 3 0 to Forest Green against Crew. 3 0 to South End against Boreham Wood. It's Seemingly this Easter Monday, to everyone's taking the time to score goals. Except it's not happened here at Brecon Moor yet. 28 minutes gone, remains nil-nil. Here comes Thomas Poole with this free kick. And the referee will give it the OK after having a chat with Jack Boyle. And here comes Poole. Right for ball, looking to get it into the box, headed away and pass back onto it on the edge of the area. Good little turn before the ball goes forward to Hall. And then good turn in, looking for... Boyle, but well intercepted. Now back with Turner. Turner's going to send one for Rawson to chase, and it could be there, but Allenson spills it, and then he's out of his own box and just has to boot that out for a throw in. Allenson is looking a bit shaky at the back today. And is that something the Steels could take advantage of? Craig Rouse claiming Rawson was offside, but Rawson did run behind his marker, so no, he wasn't. Rouse, well, Usually give the linesman a good talking to at most games. As it goes back to Hogg. Tries to put a ball for block. Hogg tries to chase on together. But Pons tries to have it. And here they come breaking. Hoare oh, trying to slip through Thompson here. Thompson comes off the back of his heel. And Goodwin comes in and plays it away. Well in from Goodwin. Goodwin's touch. Uh, Thompson's touch. I mean, under the back of his heel. Letting him down on that occasion. Turner on the ball now. In his own half. Turns away from Metcalf and gets it to O'Connor. Now to Watson on the left in... The tackle goes in, and it will now be a throw in to Stockford. Goes in the middle, and O'Connor will get it to Turner, who tries to go forward, but he is going to lose possession here. A bit weak on that one, but tries to get it to Hall, but he misses up that ball and now getting clear it down. Only to be headed back by Lindley and go all the way back to Hall. Hall is trying to turn, get it to the right hand side, but. That was a bit too ambitious for his runner, and it will be out for a throw. -in. Ball goes forward to Rawson. Back to goal, and has to get it back to Lemon, who sends one long. Watson will try and chase, but I think Burns will have the... Actually, Burns has lost that battle. Watson has it, and he's facing up with him now. Watson goes on the outside, puts cross in, looks full of the right wing. Diving header from Poole, he can't get it on target. It would have been a dramatic, brilliant goal from Thomas Poole had he kept that on target. Unfortunately, while it had plenty of class to dive, the header is, is not on, on target and it will be out to, for a goal kick. Nil-nil it remains. I will say, if someone's if got a photo in there, it's going to look fantastic. Just unfortunately it didn't lead to the goal. <laughs> You know, we call sometimes we do joke that he's the Stocksbridge Grealish, though that sometimes is more down to his haircut than anything else. But he was showing glimpses of it then. As Pontstrack go down this left hand side through Thompson, good side and challenge from Ross Goodwin. Thompson going any further. Crying from Pontstrack right now. Thirty one minutes gone, remains nil nil. A tight game with very few chances. Going to go down to the back now too. Sprout puts a ball in, but Goodwin intercepts, and Goodwin will clear. Rawson will try and get onto it, but it's headed out before he gets him, but he's fighting for it now and wins the ball. Good. Rawson puts down the middle. Sliding challenge, though. Stops him going any further. It's a great challenge from Pontefract. Goes to Hall now in some space. Then got challenge from the back from Charles. And Hall's still on it, and then Charles gets it, and then with his touch takes it out for a throw in. Hall, he does not look happy with his team not helping him out on that occasion.
I'm out. We'll be a pro in here for Sprat to take. Goes into the middle and back to Sprat it goes. And back to, to Smythe, who puts it in the middle. Pond Sprat looks to pass it around. They pod to Frank, despite some of their reputation, they do can pass it around well. And they have done well as Metcalf breaks through. Metcalf into the box to the side to the number nine. But his ball is poor and Charles Reynolds touch away. Goes out of the box again. And back to Metcalf. Trying to play it into the middle through Smythe, who puts the ball into the middle and just misses the header. Uh, is Nysel, who had a big opportunity himself there. Just be connected to the header. It's surely going to be 1 0 Pontifract. Really good football from the away side. They just could not convert it. Lemon sends the ball down, headed away before he can find Watson, throwing to Stocksbridge. Gregory have extended their leaning lead in the El Hadico. Luke Horn has scored. If you can find a better derby name than that, I want you to comment that in our YouTube chat. As the ball goes forward here, but Charles has cuts it out and he'll put it into the middle two turner who continues forward and it will get fouled and it will be a steal free kick. Quite central, this free kick, so it might be difficult to put that sort of ball in that can be difficult to defend, but well, we've seen Paul do it before, and he does pride himself as a set-piece specialist. And then again, Luke Hogg's free kicks and corners were very good on Saturday. Paul putting the ball in towards the far end side, headed behind, and then big clearance away. Goes back to Paul, who will take the touch, and he turns around and gives it to O'Connor, and He's been forced for life to Watson, who is going to try and get down, finds the, trying to find the overlap with O'Connor, but it's a bit too heavy. And O'Connor's still fighting for it, and it eventually does go out for a goal kick. So back now with Allinson now. For this goal kick, Allinson has looked a bit shaky at times. Chesterfield have equalised. Against Kidderminster, a Preston own goal has got them on level terms. Allison's goal kick is poor and just goes out of play for a throw in. Throwing goes in towards Turner, then back to Lemon, takes the touch, come back in the middle to Turner, then ball to Hogg, forward to Rawson, and then the ball is lost to Pontefract, who Top, and it's Thompson trying to get the turn on his man, but a bit too heavy a touch. And Charles sweeps up. Now Turner will look for the killer pass to Poole. Finds Poole just behind his defender, so he still plenty for him to do. Poole will put it into the middle to Turner, who then finds Charles for a first time pass. Charles into the middle to Poole, who's looking to turn and tries to find Watson with a cute little pass, but that's intercepted and cleared away. Goodwin will head it back to Oglesby, and then all the way now back it goes to Townsend. Townsend will send this long. Looking for Charles, but there are appeals for offside that are not given and will go out for a throw in. Well, tell you back, North Ferriby have equalised since Bridlington. High Lovick has scored. And we are nil, still nil nil here, though, with 36 minutes just gone. Back with Charles, who's going to take a long throw to get this as far down the pitch as possible. And as I say that, He's pulled everyone and thrown it right back to Townsend, who will now send this high into the sky and in, headed into there by Metcalf and then headed onto the right hand side for Pontifact. And it's just got caught in the middle now as it goes to Metcalf, who turns well and gives it to Spratt. Moving in on the inside and into the middle it goes, and then back it goes to Steers, who slices it and out for a steals crowing over on that far hand side, currently with Hogg. Try to get it into the middle to O'Connor, but it's intercepted. Thompson tried to hold on to all, goes down under a slight push, and huge appeals from Rouse and not given. Goodwin will take it forward and send one forward, but that's a poor ball, and we'll be all the way with Allenson now. He's been jeered by the home support now to see if they can put him up, but he took it short this time too. Two burns, and now it lays it off to Metcalf, who carries the ball forward. 
tries to find that right hand side, but it comes off the legs. A nice one out for a steel throwing. Lemon will take the throwing. John and Lemon played at left back when we went to Pontefract all the way back in 2021. On, that's when he got a red card for handballing on the line. He, that pen, Steel's leading 1 0, and then a penalty was given, and it was then saved by Ed Hall. And it's an attack went forward to Hall, but he was offside in a good position, and now the free kick was given to Stocksbridge. Townsend will send this one centrally, headed away by Burns, but O'Connor gets onto his first, flicks it forward, unchallenged header for Pontrap back, and Turner will collect, and it's just to be a bouncing ball that he's battling for, and in the end, Turner can only boot it out to be a throw-in to, to Pontefract. Sprout will knock it forward, but then tackled, and Turner on the ball now. Turner will look for Watson, and Watson will try and haul it down. He can't do so, and it will end up going above him and over for a Pontefract throw-in. If you have your over and unders on throw-ins, well done on having it over. Jack Dyche is leading, has scored for Leversidge and has them leading against Osset. Means good, some, still some good chances for Grantham and Winston to get out of that bottom too. R Rawson's done really well on the left hand side breaking in. Rawson, he's going on the outside, puts a ball in, no one's there for it. and But that, now it's going to be Poole chasing onto it on the right hand side. Puts it through the legs of Sprout, puts it in the middle, but claimed by Allison. But there is a Steels player down in the moment. Trust track, can't see who it is. Thomas Poole completely nutmeg Harry Sprat there. And we'll be asking for that bit of footage from Avio. Yeah. And, okay, that's maybe another reason why we call him the Stocksbridge Grealish. Because he can do that from time to time. He I mean, he got the admiration from the crowd. It just needed a touch-in to make it a goal, so that would account as his assist. In the end, it didn't. In the end, though, Allingson did well, claiming at his near post. It's Curtis Turner, the man who's down injured at the moment. Hopefully, he'll be able to continue. I suspect if you saw, if he had to go off, you would see Ollie Novak coming on. He did play central midfield during pre-season, even though his natural position is more in the wing. You also might see Alex Phillipson come on and Ross Goodwin pushed, in, pushed into the centre. The El Hadico has turned vicious. Josh Venny has been sent off for Cleethorpe's town. He's been given the hook. And that's the best one I'm doing all game. I'm, I'm going to go to Graham, our chairman, who likes me getting puns into this, and see if I can get a free pint out of that one for after the game. Some news from a local fixture. Shh. Michael Hick Hickwe has scored, but for Middlesbrough. It's 1 0 to the Borough against West Sheffield Wednesday. I'm teasing myself at that point, to be honest. Goodwin's just done a big clearance away. Curtis Turner is back and up. Oh. Okay, actually, yeah, he's getting, still getting treatment on the sideline. So, but we are down to 10 men for a while. Tried to slip the ball through to Rawson, but Pontefract have intercepted through Burns. Ball going through to Smyvie, it's forced backwards. Then to Sprat. Now further down to the left to Boyle. Tries to get it to Thompson, and then back it goes to Boyle. Into the middle it goes for Smy. Good passing from Pontefract at the moment as it goes back to Metcalf. Now to the right for Lindley, who's pushed forward, then back to Metcalf. Then to Smythe, and heavy touch, and then that has allowed Hogg to press him, and, but it's still with Pontefract, who've tried an ambitious ball to right, and he's been all down really well on the right-hand side of the box. Now to the edge of the box with Metcalf, who's trying to get past his man, but well tackled by Hogg, and now Watson will try and get a clearance away. He's been harassed by Metcalf, who's got a good tackle in on him, and now it's back with Pontefract, who put a ball into the middle, but it goes too close to Townsend, who claims it. Another local goal. Burton Albion are leading 1-0 against Barnsley. And Turner, who had recently come back on, is now back to the ground. And I think, he, will that be his game over? No, he, he's returned to the feet. And he is going to be heading off, I think, there. 
So I think a substitute is going to be needed. It's going to be Alex Philipson coming on. He's going to have to hastily get ready. He's warming up on the side. So what I expect with Alex Philipson, the centre-back coming on, is that you're going to see Ross Goodwin push into central midfield and Philipson take his place at centre-back. That's a huge blow. Turner was missing on Saturday, but now Philip. So, back now with Townsend, who will take it to feet before picking it up as Thompson comes into closing. So, shoot comes on the 42nd minute. So, back now with Townsend. Right, for the ball for Watson, but ends up going out to play for a throw in. And back now to Lemon, who's knocked it forward, but it's going to be a head back line. Burns, Rawson trying to get onto it as it's first wide, but Burns onto first, then Rawson just goes into the back of it a bit too much. So I think the Steel players are thinking Burns has gone down a bit lightly. Probably did, but he earned it. Rawson gave him that opportunity to go down, so hey, that's what happens. Ball is back in play. It's a switch play off. It's a really good ball. Can he control it? He does it twice with his chest ball. Lemon just has to go and win a tackle to knock it out for a throw. So out for a throw. And it's going to be out for Lindley to take this throw. Still waiting for Philipson to come on. He's yet to actually come on the field yet, Philipson. Still getting ready, but nice no, back with Lemon Foot. Is it a steel throw? I think some of the Ponty fans are shouting at, at something, not sure exactly what, but our photographer Ian Revit is also telling them, shouting at them. So it's a, it's a fun atmosphere. Ponty Pratt's pressures and them are throwing on that right line. And now Alex Lipson will head on the substitution. Will be made official now. Philipson was coming on, but he's been told to come back for a second. And as he has a final kick check, and now he will return. So, yeah, I would suspect now we'll see Ross Goodwin going to central midfield into his more natural position while Philipson will take up centre back with Charlie Oglesby. So, I'm sure if there is any major change tactics. We'll see it short, very shortly because we are almost at half time now. On track, trying to break into the middle. To, it all now spread it out to the left. Here to Sprat. Ball across the left now to Boyle. Takes a shot and it almost threw Townsend's legs. And it's Townsend's trying to get, but his hands onto it. It's still not there. And now he has it now. And Townsend is safe. Almost an error from him, who, keeper who made an error on Saturday. Townsend now will look to send this one long. Kind of look for Rawson who chests it down well and he's trying to turn very on the, that touchline there, but he can't keep it in play. And it will be the Pontypract Pro who are having a really good spell towards the end of this first half. So currently with Pontypract, they've got this Pro with Lindley taking it now. Going into the middle and a big clearance away by Ogilvy. We'll just send it further down the line and then eventually out for a throw inside Pontefract half. Some goals to tell you about is that Jack Maskell has put Dunstan back ahead. That's despite them being down to 10 men. They're now 2 1 up on Newton Aikley. Concert have doubled their lead against Stockton. Are Stockton bottling it? Ben Ramsey has scored and Bridlington are now 2 1 up on North Berry. They restore their lead. Mr. Bridlington himself, Andrew Norfolk, has scored. Pontefract now get it out to the left to Spratt. Into the middle it goes and will down send it long and controlled well. And then back to Boyle who tries to find Hoare on the left but over hitting out for a throw in. We haven't seen how much at a time we've got. So, but we have probably had two minutes of it according to my clock. So, But we are going to see the board go up now. 
Well, I know we're not. I think maybe because we're probably going to hear half time soon as Lemon clears up, but only back to Burns and spreads it out to Sprat before Paul just boots it downfield. Allenson will be out of his box. He claims it. Watson's going to put pressure on as Allenson actually does find uh, Nysel with a good pass. Into the middle it goes. This, this half seems to be lasting forever despite at the moment. Down on the right hand side and down on the right wing it goes and here comes the ball in blocks and it's going to be a corner kick Pontifract. Despite the fact we've had no out of time given, we are now into the third minute of it. And so Smythe will take this corner. Here it comes, it, the left footer of Smythe, looking in the six-yard area, headed away at the near post by Hogg. Will go to, well, Boyle will leave it, actually, foot, here, and then gets it back on the right-hand side. Then the overlap is here, and waiting for the cross, trying to get the byline touched out, though, by O'Connor. It'll be another corner kick for Pontefract. Three and a half minutes of out of time in this first half so far. We still don't know how much out of time we've got. <laughs> Here comes the left footage corner. Lofted high, looking for the far post. Rawson heads it away. Hey, but it's only going to the left-hand side tonight. And there we go, half time, finally. Felt like it was lasting forever. It went nil-nil here. Neither side's really had any major chances to speak of, though. Some quality balls have gone in, only for no one to be there. Can't say it's a thriller. But maybe it'll enliven up in the second half. We'll see. Hey, hey. See you in 15 minutes.
Hello and welcome back to the Northern Premier League East match between Stockford Park Fields and Pontefract College. I'm your commentator, Adam Alcroft, and we are sponsored by Jason Rawson, carpet fitter and supplier. It remains nil-nil here. Not really much to talk about in the first half, to be honest. I think Dakir, my media assistant, is going to have a tricky match report to write in that base like that first half. Maybe something will happen in the second half. So we are back getting almost underway. Thomas Poole standing over the ball. So the game is back underway. Thomas Poole kicks us off. It, and Stockbridge in the yellow shirts, blue shorts and blue socks kicking from right to left. While Pontefract College are in the blue shirts, black shorts, black socks kicking from left and right. From left to right. Teams are as follows. For, it's for Stocksbridge, it's Ben Townsend in gold, and Tom Charlesworth, Jordan Lemon, Luke Hogg, Charlie Ogilvy, Alex O'Connor, Alex Phillips, who replaced Curtis Turner, who went off of injury towards the end of the first half, Ross Goodwin, Luke Rawson, Thomas Poole, and Jack Watson. The bench is Bailey, Ty Baker, Jack Dolman, Kyle Austin, and Ollie Novak. For Pontefract, there's no change to the half of them, so it, it's Lloyd Allenson, Hayden Lindley, Harry Spratt, uh, Oliver Metcalf, who came on for Jack Pan, who was injured early on in the game. Jack Steers, Daniel Burns, Callum Nysel, Connor Smythe, Adam Hoare, Bailey Thompson, and Jack Boyle. The benches, Miles Labastide, Joshua Burns, Louis Chilton, and Ryan Musselwhite. Kelly just sent a ball long, but Pontefract get the first header onto it. and But then Goodwin wins it. He's in central midfield now, starting at centre-back. Ball is clipped long, but Burns heads that over to Spratton left-hand side, who smacks it off Goodwin. And it goes out for a throw in. Friends quickly taken to Boyle, one of the liveliest players of Pontefract. As Stock Goodwin tried to escape a mark after tackling him, and there was put some shirt pulling on Goodwin as we're trying to get away, so it will be a free kick to the Steels. We do have some, we do have some things to tell you about. The Newton Aycliffe match, where Dunstan were winning 2-1, has been abandoned due to a waterlogged pitch. And Liversidge are now 2-0 upon Osset. Jeremy Malambo has scored in that West Yorkshire derby. The El Cotino? Ball goes forward and headed away. O'Connor tried to get a touch onto it, but it is back with Pontefract now. And Hoare has just allowed it to go to Boyle. Boyle will find Hoare on the left-hand side. He has to be forced back after a not great first touch. Back it goes to Spratt. Who knocks it forward, but that's going to go out for a throw in and actually become up a stock player last. It will be a, a Pontefract throw in. 46 minutes gone in this game, rings nil nil. Throwing goes in, go to Hogg, who heads it away to Pool, who tries to pass it back to O'Connor, and then his. Pass the right, comes off a Pontefract man last, and it will be a Stocksbridge throw in. <laughs> Throwing forward, and then there's a foul from Pontefract, so I'm going to steal him enough free kick in a pretty much identical position to where it was before. Charles is the man who's standing over it. Steals are putting quite a few men forward, so even though this is just inside Pontefract half, they're going to try and see if they can launch attack. They're going to send it down the right to Poole, and Poole has got it down the right. Facing up with Spratt now, trying to get on the outside of him. Puts the ball in, and Watson's head is just over at the near post. Really well worked that piece. One from the training ground. Poole's peeled off Spratt really well on the right wing. Puts a quality cross in. Watson, though, just can't get his header on target. He's been one closest to a goal. Oh, he scored against Pontefract on Boxing Day. Looking to do it again, but just over this time. It remains nil-nil. Ball forward from Allinson. Goodwin will return that header. Rawson trying to chase onto it, though it should just bounce back to Allinson, who will pick it up. Allinson, who will try bouncing the ball, but then it just dro drops. I think the soft ground not helped him in that one. O'Connor will head that out, though, for a throw-in. Top tips for keepers is not to bounce the ball, I think, after that one. So back for Smythe, who will look to switch play. Charles goes for the header. Just He does get the head onto it, but it only goes behind him. Will end up going out for a throw-in. That's lucky or else Boyle would have had 
Well, quite a bit of space to move into. Sprat with a throw in, puts it into the middle to Smythe, but then blocked by Charles, who now comes away with it, moving into the centre as he does so. Lays it off to the left to Lemon, who will clip it forward, right footed. Watson chase on it, trying to cause a problem for Lindley. Think it came off Watson, last of the frame, but uh, and it's taken quickly to O'Connor. Well, wow, that's why Lindley's down, but the game is continuing. Watson put back now to Lemon, who come forward, referee in his way. Lemon takes a shot, it's curling it into Allenson's arms. Pants fact, really not happy as Lindley went down with the injury and staying down at the moment. Lemon tried the shot, it ended up curling into Allenson's arms. Took a bit of an outswinging curl into him. Lindley now back to his feet. Looks like he will be able to continue. Craig Rouse not particularly happy with that one. Back with Allison now, who will take kick it in his hands now, so we will the game will be back underway. Fifty minutes gone. Men's nil nil. The steel's looking good in the start of the second half. Big header away from Stockley. Pool heads it on. Rawson will fight for it, but Steers heads it back. Only to Goodwin though. And Goodwin back to Pool, who's forced further out wide. We'll try the outside of his boot pass forward up front of Watson, but should be covered by Lindley. Then back now to Allenson who will boot it forward. But Lemon tries to head it back. Did he come off the back of onto that man? No, Linesman says otherwise. So So that's now for Metcalf, who will send it long, and then it's well won by Thompson, who nicks it off the feet of Oglesby on the right wing, but Oglesby comes back, covers it really well, tackles and just kicks that out for a throw-in. Oglesby had lost the ball initially, but he's done really well to recover and get that back and then and get it out for a throw-in and, and the immediate danger. Kidderminster are now back ahead against Chesterfield Brown, the latest scorer. Ball goes across to the middle with Smythe now. We've got back in his own defence and he gives it to Burns and now over to Spratt who puts in the middle back to Smythe who's going to come forward with it a bit for trying to switch play over to the right wing. Well took down by Nysel. Nysel tries to put the back into the middle. Slide chance from Goodwin takes it away from him and Watson who's back in defence clears it. Going to go all the way back to Allinson now. Now in the defence. With Steers. Puts it forward now to Lindley. Then back it goes and cleared forward. And good. Uh, it will be Will just allowed to go out and play for a throw in. Big throw down there looking for Rawson. Just comes off his feet though. O'Connor goes in for the challenge, but goes out for a throw in. Lindley will take this throw. Going in the middle and knocked on by Hall, but then big clearance away by Oglesby. Steers will return the header. Goodwin comes in with a tackle. He's going to try and find Watson, and the offside flag is up. That one's very, very close. I am a very biased commentator, so I would say that was onside just, but close enough where I would go. Fair enough, I'll let the linesman have that one. Goodwin goes in with a good challenge, and Paul is getting held as he tried to break through. Now, Pons Factory will send the ball along, and it's looking for the run of Hall, but headed away by Oglesby, and now it's with O'Connor, who tried to take it on the outside. He's barged down, and will be a free kick to Stocksbridge. 53 minutes gone in this game, brings a nil-nil. Back it is with Townsend now. We'll take the free kick. Where out of his own box on this left wing. Right for ball forward. And it's going to be Watson trying to challenge for the header. And end up going to the feet of Lindley, who then clears it. But only back to Hogger will hit right back in. Goodwin now challenges for it. Goes away from him. And then big boot away from Smythe. And headed on could be a problem this. Charles has been forced backwards. Trying to turn under pressure from Boyle. Forced further backwards. And then passes it back to Townsend, who... Will now just boot this one away 
Hey. Un easy header back from Spratt, but you only get it back to Stocksbridge with Charles now who knocks it forward, but that's going to go back in the defence now with Steers. Gives it back now to Bit Thompson, uh, to Metcalf, who's dropped deep, and then back it goes to Steers, who will take a touch and waiting for a potential on ball now. Just takes the time and takes a little small one to Metcalf, and they're trying to start, and then it's a poor one, and the pass from Paul almost breaks Rawson through. It's too heavy, and back with Allinson. Now, ball goes forward and almost out of play. Nicel keeps it in just about, and he's going to continue forward with it. Plays it to his side now to Boyle. Now over to the left wing. They're looking for the ball shot, and it's blocked by Charles, and it's going to go out for a throw in. Will be a throw in right next to the corner flag for Pontefract. We'll be interested to see if. Ian Richards goes to his very, very young bench. Everyone under 21 who's left on that bench. Pontefract put a ball high, lofted ball in. And not a comfortable take from Lemon, but he does get it. And he clears it away to Watson, who is under pressure, deep in their own half. And eventually does get around and pass it forward to Rawson, who then flicks on to Watson. And Watson breaks down left hand side. Watson continuing down the left hand side. Good challenge in from Lindley. And I think he comes off Watson last, and it will be a throw in. To Pontefract, it's a great tackle from Hayden Lindley to stop Watson breaking into the box. And he even gets a throw going his way as well. 55 minutes gone, remains nil nil. Barnsley have equalised against Burton Albion. McAtee has scored for the Tykes. Run goes into Metcalf, who's fast back before the clearance comes in, goes to Paul Clark, doesn't get good. Control of it. Tries to touch it, Lemon. It's a poor one, but then Paul goes in with a sign challenge and gets it back to Lemon. Lemon skips past one man, but can't keep it in, throwing Pontefract. The, the El Hadico is only going one way. Cameron Garder has scored his second, and it's 3 0 to Grimsby Borough. Lee Forks are sinking. As the ball goes through, and Brighouse have also got one back against Winterton. Jack Normanton has scored. As Steers can only head a lot of ball forward out for a throw in. Lemon go if we're able to take this throw. Steels do lack a long throw threat. A lot of teams seem to have one now. As Lemon throws it to O'Connor, then back to Lemon. Lemon trying to get past his man, but it's been blocked. He'll be out for another throw. Lemon. We play it short to Watson again, who tries to control and break through, and he does get into the box. Watson into the box, tries to go on the outside, flings it across. Not turned in yet. Right on the line. Rawson was almost there. Which stops it again. Hogg escapes from Hallwell. Hogg over to the right to Poole, who's deep on the right wing. Has Charles with in front of him, but Poole is. Falls back to Philipson. Then across to Oglesby. Crosses the halfway line. But then gives it back to Philipson, who not the best touch, but he will take it. And then back over to Hogg, who's deep. Now to the right to Poole. And Poole gets past him and get, tries to control it. And it will then be go out for a Pontefract throw. Carlton are 2 0 on Grantham. Nathan Watson has scored. We're going to see the second punch right sub. As, as um, Bailey Thompson is the man heading off. We, we haven't seen much of him. And the man coming on is every commentator's worst nightmare when having to deal with Ofcom, Miles Labastide. Or for me, I don't have Ofcom. I have Laura Towler. But Labastide will come on and he will be looking to make an impact. You don't want to know what the English translation of his name is. As Pontefract knocked it well, forward. <laughs> so, just waiting for stoppage to get back there on the throne, but there is a stoppage as a Pontefract defender. He's just tight, but down, I think, on his knees, struggling a bit. 
We won't be needing the physio on, and there will be the physio coming on, so we'll have another break in play. But Blackburn are having a really good game today, just noticed. 4 0 again away at Sunderland. Dolan, Tyrius Dolan has just scored their latest. Check when the results aren't really going for him at the moment. Well, actually, Plymouth are losing, so there's that. But just feel the draw in 1 1. And Birmingham's 0 0. Thank you. Nil nil. That was QPR nil nil. Bar. I've got the scores up, you see, as part of my what we'll fancy call the nerve centre, but what is otherwise called the Sky Sports Video Printer. Right. Kind of say it's a very even game when you look at some of the stats. That's if you look at the stats, dangerous attacks. It's twenty five for Stocksbridge and twenty six for Pontefract. Shows you how even this game has been. Looks like we will be seeing a substitute due to this injury. Spratt, the man, is going to be heading off. Harry Spratt, the captain. Coming on will be Joshua Burns. Spratt is 15, Joshua Burns. So they do still have another defender on the bench, which will be very handy. But this is a, honestly a concern for Pond Spratt. They've had two players go down from injury, and they've not played Saturday. They had their game abandoned, so... They're the fresher team going into it, so you would have hoped that they would have been thinking, right, especially in the second half, we're going to be able to press on and really make the Stocksbridge legs. I've done a full 90, you know, away at Grimsby Borough. Really make them work and really tough stress them, but it, well, they've had to make some early substitutes. All their substitutes are gone already. We've still got how to go as Rawson almost able to break into a box, but it just goes spills through to Allenson. I'll be interested to see if this lack of having lack of options might hurt Pontefract as the game goes on. Ball goes forward. Phillipson heads it away. Goodwin will flick on. Rawson's offside, can't do anything with it, so Pontefract return it up front. On to the right towards Metcalf, who finds Lindley on the right, played into the middle. Some decent passing drives, but then Watson intercepts a loose pass and tries to get away, but then he's tackled. Now back to Nysel, who tries the ball forward, hog blocks it. And it comes off a Pontefract man last. Ah, and it will be a throw into the steals. So back with Lemon for this throw in. 61 minutes gone, remains nil nil. Friend goes in, headed away by Steers and battles for in midfield. Both teams claiming the throw will be Pontefracts. Throwing down line from Burns, headed away by Oglesby. Hogg tries to head it behind him, but then he ends up getting it back after it comes off a Pontefract man. Tupul, who moves into the centre, gets past his man, tries the pass through to Watson, but well intercepted by Burns, who's come on in doing well. He's taken over on this right-hand side, right, with Daniel Burns taking the left-hand side. So we've got two Burns on the pitch. Goodwin's just got the ball on the right-hand side, passes it back to Charlesworth, who will give it back to Phillipson, who will... Give it back to Townsend. Not the greatest pass, but Townsend who slices it. Townsend's going to have to rescue it. He can boot it away for a throw in. And Townsend, who made that error on Saturday, almost had another one there. Bit of an air kick from him. So Pontefract on the left wing puts the ball in blocks. It will be out near the corner flag. Throw in. So. Throwing very close to core flag. Both keepers can probably thank Stars today. Both have made errors, which another day could have led to goals. Just on the left hand side with Pontefract throwing, going to La Bestide, who tries to put the ball in. That was his first action, is to earn a corner after it was blocked by Charlesworth. Corner kick to the away side. Their sixth corner of the game. And they've looked quite good from them. They've put them in decent areas. 
Ball goes in, look for the near post. Big clearance away by Hogg. Poole looking to be the man on to this. He is. We're surrounded by two punch trap men. He, was debat he gets pushed over and it will be a free kick to Stockbridge. Edge. Craig Rouse not happy about that. So it will be a free kick to the Steels. What, about 15 yards into their own half. Townsend will come up and take it. Chesterfield definitely taken their foot off the gas since getting promoted. They're now losing 3-1 at home to Kidderminster. Preston has scored his second of the game. Ball forward from Townsend. Finds Watson on the right. He's got lots of space. Tries to be clever and put the ball back to full, but that's intercepted. Goodwin and Rawson were in the middle waiting for the ball to go in. And now Pontefract having a physical battle on the left-hand side and they will get the free kick. Good man, Going to be a book. Is that going to be a booking for Alex Phillipson? I'm surprised if it is because it wasn't a booking the other way. I mean, a very similar sort of foul, but it is a yellow card for Alex Phillipson. But a foot, very similar foul to the one that Stockbridge got just on the other way around, but there were no booking for that. As Barnsley are now 2 1 up on Burton. McAtee has scored again. Pontrack push. Their defenders forward for this free kick. That is just inside the Steels half on that left hand side. We'll see what the length of it is like. My ball going towards that far end of the box. Ugly heads it away. Contract first onto the ball, but the offside flag is up anyway, so it will be back for a stop for his free kick. Been a good day for Clipstone. They're winning 6 0. With Gareth Curtis, our former Stocksbridge forward scoring. Gareth Curtis had a short spell start last year, scored some memorable goals in the FA Cup. Going against Presswich A's. Hogg collects the ball and will get it to the right for Poole. Poole allows it to go around his body to the right. Looking for the overlap here of Hogg. It's, it's a great ball. Hogg tries to find it over the top. No, it's the far post for it. It was tantalising. But no, Watson just can't stretch. Means nil-nil. Ian Richards just in frustration of how close. The Steelers have got some goals in this game so far. 66 minutes gone. Liversidge are oh, 3 0 up away at Osset. Alex Wallerton has scored, and Stockton have just got one back against Consett. Michael Sweet's the goal scorer. Oh, there's a bit of wrestling between Watson and Burns. O'Connor tried to get the pass in the middle, but. The referee did not see that wrestling match between the two. Lemon clipped the ball forward that Rawson's going to challenge for. Headed away from him and it's going to go out for a Stocksbridge throw. Pontefract were known last year for getting like a red card every other game. Now they haven't ended up in the book yet. It's getting a bit antsy here. As Rawson's in his own corner flag at the moment. But Tack goes in, he'll get a throw in very close to that flag. Throws it to O'Connor, then back to Lemon. Try to take it down the line, but tackle again. Another throw in an identical position. Birmingham are leading 1 0 against Preston in the map. That affects the relegation battle in the championship. Loop ball in the middle and headed away. Poole's going to look to win it, and he takes it down to a foot. Takes the shot. Oh, it was a fantastic shot. It looked destined for the top corner. It was inches away. But in the end, it will remain nil-nil. A moment of inspiration for Bridge Greenlish. That almost found its way in the top corner. Allenson clears the ball upfield. Physical battle from O'Connor. It loses out on Watson goes in now. But Watson went in a bit too heavy on Metcalf, and it will be a free kick. Here comes the free kick from Steers. Sends it down the line, but Uggs will head it away. Be a throw in two Pontefract. 68 minutes gone. Means nil nil here. As Lighty Og wins the ball out, but then Pontefract win it back. Looking to get down the right hand side here. Try to clip it into the middle with 
Number 11, and now with Boyle, takes a shot. It's well drilled. Well saved, Townsend. Opened up for Pontefract then, but in the end, still able to just get the save. Townsend came down well to his left. Will we see some of the youngsters come on soon? Novak and Carl Austin and Bailey Baker and Jack Dorman all will be thinking it's their time to shine. And some clever playing finds Charles down the right, trying to find Rawson. But in the end, he finds O'Connor who tries to click through to Rawson. Rawson can't do anything because he's offside, though. And La Bastide will hold it up. But a push then from O'Connor will give the free kick to Pontefract and let them off for that one. 69 minutes gone. Remains nil nil. Honestly, now three went up on Burton now a little bit. Connell has scored. I've seen him miss some big chances before. Ball goes forward. Oglesby heads out to Ross, who tries to touch it to the right. Poole has to drop deep to collect. He does do so. Finds Charles now, who overlapped in front of him. Now back to Poole, who takes some time. Will look to switch plays, looking for the runner, Rawson. Rawson's managed to peel off, but the ball's a bit too heavy. He does get it before it goes out for a goal kick. He's on the left-hand side, needs some support. He said he's going to put it in the middle and then clear away for it can get to Watson. And Pontefract have it in their own box and will pass it out there. And they've actually found a really good ball to Boyle, who will go down the left wing. Hogs tracking him. Boyle steps back, cuts into the middle. And then back it goes now to Lindley, who puts it over now to Metcalf. Finds the overlap of Nysel, puts the ball to the near post. No one's there for it, Townsend claims. Townsend will send the ball on. Rawson's going to fire as it goes further on. Bounces past him and Burns has to head it back. Watson's lurking, but ends up looping back to Allington. No. Could have been a moment then. More bad news for Sheffield Wednesday. QPR leading 1 0 against Swansea. It's a, not a good day for Wednesday as they look to fight against relegation. Then again, they're facing Swansea, and it drags Swansea right back into it. So, you know, that relegation battle's mad down at the bottom of that table. Ball forward from Pontrat, look for the right wing, but Lemon heads back away again. It couldn't have been quite good for the number seven, Nysel, and it was before it was hugging by O'Connor, and then Lemon's almost put Pontrat in again, but O'Connor has to rescue him on that occasion. So a couple of errors there from um, Jordan Lemon as Charles of is on the ball. That's it sideways to Poole, who lays off Hogg, who doesn't get a good touch on turning it back to Pontefract. Go, Hogg is putting pressure on, and he gets forward, and then back into midfield. Pontefract will have the space. Goes through to Boyle, who puts the ball looking for the Labastide, but it will then go back to Townsend. <laughs> what a comeback from Stockton. Maybe they aren't battling it. Adam Nicholson has equalised. Against Consett. 2 2. Brilliant result from Stocks. Five minutes they've come back from 2 0 down. Very impressive. Consett, who had lost 5 0 in the week to Sheffield FC, thinking they were going to get an upset. Turns out not, but maybe they still can get it. Anything can happen in non league. Now, here's a shot. Rovium United are winning 1 0 against Millwall. Revan has scored for them. It will mean, with the results stand, they aren't going to get relegated today. Looks like Jack Dorman will be making his way on soon for Stocksbridge. Contract sending the ball over to the right wing, looking for Nysa. Taking the touch, going to go on the outside, putting a ball in across the edge of the area it goes before Charles is able to clear it away. Watson's fighting for it, can't get it up. Over, but it will be a throw in and near comes the sub. Tucker is moving centrally. It looks like Luke Rawson <laughs> is going to be heading off. And Jack Dorman will be heading on. That will bring extra pace to this side. That Rawson has put himself about well today, but sort of slow down. Maybe the two games in three days has really affected him. and now it will be Jack Dorman's chance. 
So we're going to see Thomas Poole move into centre forward. And Dorman will take his place on the left wing. Watson will switch to the right. And Middlesbrough now 2 0 up on Sheffield Wednesday. Jones has scored. It's Ayer Jones who made. Ball just fills here to Smythe. Puts out to left to La Bastide. Touches past his man. Welling from Ogersby, but it's looped back into the box. It's not away yet. Headed away to the edge of the area to Metcalf. Gets it to the right to Boyle, who puts it back into the middle to Metcalf. Out to the left to La Bastide again. He's going to put it back into the middle to Lindley. Then back to La Bastide. Faces up with Charlesworth. Now back to Lindley it goes. Now into the middle, but intercepted. Charlesworth will get it. And Charlesworth will... Well, he tries to boot it away. It's blocked. And now Townsend will rush onto it and go for the ball. There was a late challenge in there from Hall as well. Townsend on the ball now. So we are now 75 minutes gone. 15 to go as Townsend sends the ball along. Watson's got onto the end of that on the right wing. Watson juggles the ball to the left. Takes the shot. It's not far. Well, actually, I was going to say not far. It's actually well off in the end. It was a, we looked closer than we thought it was. I think when he saw the juggle, he thought, I am having goal of the season here. It was not near goal of the season, unfortunately. Winterton are definitely getting the three points away at Brighouse. Russell Burko has scored his second of the game. An impressive result that will help their goal difference. No wonders they have the worst goal difference in the league. We've now, he's now minus 39. Ball goes forward, headed away on Oglesby to Boyle. Then it goes to the right wing, but Lemon has the beating of Nysel. He's been forced into his corner, though, Lemon, and he's just trying to get out and keep it being Steele's ball. And he goes, it'll be a goal kick to Stocksbridge. Yeah, about to be a goal kick for Townsend. Sending the ball along here. Look for pull, but headed away by Steers. Over to Labastide, who's been forced backwards. Well tackled by Goodwin. I say well tackled. I think so. So it's a free kick to Pontefract. It's on the halfway line now for Pontefract's free kick. Sent forward to Lindley. Looks to switch play. Look over to the right wing. Over to Nysel. Trying to cut in. And into the centre it goes to Lindley. And then over now to Smythe, who's shot his block well in from Goodwin. Over onto the left wing now. Lebestide over the ball. But he said he's going to leave it for Smythe to take this throw. Tried to get into the box, but forced further out. Still with Pontefract, with Boyle, who tries to sneak the ball through, and he does see through like a couple of players. Then back to the edge of the area, trying to get it some space. Pontefract with Nysel, well tackled by Dolman. It clears off and bounces and stays in the bounce. Dolman's still fighting for it, but then it goes round, and Lemon will just allow that to go out for a goal kick. Pontefract really unhappy with that. That's how they get a bit of a Barrack in front of the Ponty fans there. So back with Townsend now. We'll send it long, looking for Goodwin, but head it away. Back to Charles, who will head it forward to Goodwin and tries to find Dolman with that, but it's cleared away from there. Headed on and then back to Phillipson, who just about clips enough onto it. O'Connor touched onto Dolman. Dolman has been forced backwards. That's a shame because if he can get on his front front, he's got extra space. Does manage to turn his man, but then well covered from Metcalf, who gets back on the right hand side. Some clever play. Pontefract is intercepted by Hogg. Now through to Dolman. Tries to find Goodwin in the middle, block, but then goes to O'Connor. O'Connor then misses the pass, really. He's still going to carry on with himself. 
Get a few passing options that could have broke the defence. Instead, he's going to go to the right, finds Watson. Watson is facing up with his man, cuts in, in into the centre, then turns back, trying to get down the right now. Will now pass it to the right wing to O'Connor, then back to Watson. Watson's going to go on the main. He's going to take what it looks like a shot, but it's well off. And I don't think Watson's got his shooting boots on today. Ian Novak. Ian Richards is not looking particularly happy with that one. And I do wonder if that might provoke Oli Novak, who scored a goal on Saturday. Actually, come on. Seventy nine minutes gone in this game. Rains nil nil. Well there's four from Allinson. Very clumsy, everyone into the air and everyone down, and there's two Ponta players down after I think they flash into each other's heads there. One one of them is Metcar. And there will be physio treatment. I think they need an extra physio. So, a bit concerning. It seems two contract players climbing in with each other. Looks like I think we'll be stopped from just throwing. So, the physio work continues here. Millwall have quickly equalised against Rotherham United. Ryan Longman has scored. That would mean, yes, that would mean Rotherham United going down. So we're just continuing with it as the troop. Uh, on track, continue the treatment on Ollie Metcalf, who came on for an injured player. Obviously, he, I imagine if he's had a crack to the head, he'll have to pass a, con pass a concussion test before coming back on. He is starting to get to back to his feet now. Back to the other player who never got to identify. Uh, he must have got a crack to the head as well, but he just seems to have got up and be fine. Oh, he's been shouted out. So it looks like our final substitution will be Oli Novak, who scored the goal on Saturday. Kyle Austin, who many people are excited to see. He's on the bench today, his first time in the squad since signing his senior a senior registration. He's a regular for the reserves. He won't be making his debut today. But Ian's getting his, ins but Ollie is getting his instructions from Ian. Ball goes long, looking for Dolman. Headed away, and it will be out for a throw-in. Lemon will come over to take this throw-in. Sheffield have equalised against Belper. Finno Boyle has scored. Lemon, he takes a touch back to Poole. Poole's opening up his body. He's trying, I think he was looking for a good win, but he didn't get the accuracy right, and it just fitters right to Allinson. Allinson sending the ball long. Flips and battle for it, but Paul keeps all the ball. Tries to find Lebesti. Does do so. Gets past Hogg, who packs him down, but actually no free kick given for that one. And weirdly, even though I said it was a dead set free kick, is the one they don't shout for on the Pontefract bench. Kind of well works sometimes. It's weird. So, currently with who throws it down, looking for Gooding over his head to Watson, who's controlling it. Gets all beyond his man on the right. He's been put, shirt pulled and everything, but nothing happens. Back to Goodwin, who trips as he gets onto the ball and it goes out for a goal kick. We will see a substitute. Oli Novak is going to be heading on. He will be replacing Jordan Lemon. It's an attacking substitute for Stockbridge. Look to go on and win this game. I know that he scored on Saturday to set up the grandstand finish away at Grimsby Borough. We'd lose 3-2 that game, but thanks to Oli Novak with a really good finish after a fantastic ball from Charlie Oglesby. He, he'll be looking to get his second in two games and show Ian Richards, hey, start me. He's yet to get a start in the league. Made his first start in that Sheffield Senior Cup match against Dernan District. Charles just gets a push on him from Metcalf and gets the free kick goes Steele's way. <laughs> so back with Charles. And it's going to be a talk from Metcalf. He's going to get talking to from the referee. Multiple fouls have seen him end up in the book. So it's a yellow card for Ollie Metcalf.
Charlesworth will send the ball in. It's a high ball. Far inside. Allington will claim it comfortably, though. Ball going long. Finds Le Bastide. Novak gets a bit of a foot in, but still with Pontefract. And it goes out for a throwing. Thought we just throw, that is. Right, going to Goodwin, chest down. He's trying to control and get past his man and does eventually do. Gets it to Watson, who had a bit of wrestling. He's going to try and find Goodwin in the overlap. Goodwin gets hauled down. It will be a free kip, and I can see the yellow card coming out again for this one. To be honest, you probably could have left Ross and Goodwin going down the right. He's not known for his crosses, but and it will be a yellow card for a man I don't exactly know who it is yet. Wait to see how he's, when he's identified on football web pages. Pulls away a chance to deliver a really dangerous free kick in here. Charlie Ogilvy, Jack Dolman, Ollie Novak, Frost Goodwin on. Alex Philipson's hovering at the far post. He scored three for Brighouse already this season. Off ball looking to get it in. Flicked on by Goodwin. Philipson has to chase it down on the left wing. Passes it back to O'Connor, who, who's ball forward. I think Mia took a touch then off Nysel, but that's not what they're up. The referee believes, so it will be a goal kick. Connor Smythe was the one who got the yellow card. And it will be out for a goal kick. So, like Valinson now for this goal kick. Sends it long. Looking long. Goodwin heads it back up into the air. Tries to challenge, but Metcalf wins it. But and not only wins it, but it kind of gets in a bit physically. And it's a free kick to Pontefract. Well, it's a big win in a local derby for Liversidge. They are now leading 4 0 against Osset. Alex Holton has scored again, and, and that really plunges Osset into some trouble. Now back to Smythe, who will clip it long. Uh, Try to be headed on. It's still in the box. Still on the edge of the area before it hops away. But no, it's back for Metcalf, who's going to take a shot. And it's now a threat to cars on that road. Actually, it bounced back in the bush. It hit the fence across the, across the road from outside the stadium and bounced back into the bush. So we can at least go back and claim that. We know where it is for later. One of the Ponty play. Fans, I think it's gone to go play in that one. I think it is Bob Wire that, so I think he should be warned. Can the Ponty fan get the ball out? He's trying. He's been careful. He's got it. Eighty-seven minutes gone in this game. Mains nil-nil. Ball going long. Headed away by Steers, but only to Hog. Gets it to Goodwin on the right. Moves into the centre, but. Is tackled, but then Hog goes in with a tackle, but then it's back with with Pontefract. Now back with Levisteed on the left. Novak tried to cover him, but Levisteed's still on the ball. Now finding the overlap. Finds him really well, because it's nice still now on the left. Just about keeps it in. Hey, now let's go into the linesman. Back now, he goes to Smythe on the edge of the area. Trying to get to the edge. Levisteed, crowded by players. Tackled by Goodwin, but only back for Metcalf, who has been forced further back by Goodwin. Puts it into the middle to Levisteed. Tackled. By Goodwin, and then away by Novak. Gets it to Poole, who's put a loop in one to the top. Watson's going to battle for it. Orca bounce, maybe a handball from handball. But Watson's going to break in the right game, pulled all around. Maybe could have gone down and earned a penalty if he had. Watson trying to get beyond. Still doing it. Still in there. Try to break back to Novak. Takes touch away. <laughs> Ball. Close range finish, open net. He almost gets by to put it over. He wasn't too far off, but in the end, he did enough to get it in. Thomas Poole with the goal now to the steals. Maybe a whisper. 
Maybe a whisper of handball from Watson in the build up if we're being completely honest with things, but the referees went our way at least this time, so it's 1 0 to the Steels. We're in the 89th minute now, and the Seals will need to hold on for however for this minute and then however much at a time we've got coming. Currently with Nicel being forced backwards. Back it goes to Smythe, then forwards to Lindley. Lindley comes forward, got some space, puts in the middle. Now to Metcalf, now to the right wing. Watson goes to the tackle. It'll be five minutes of at a time here. And it's a Stocksbridge throw-in, which, which puts back very set way. Grumpy old man saying, but, so come on, stop it earlier now, get in you beauty as Thomas Poole puts the steals ahead on the 89th minute. Dorman will have dropped back into left back now. Big long throw forward, going to go to new, heads it on. Poole will head it on further, but big clears away by Burns, further down the line. Dorman heads back into the field, bounces for Nysel. Nysel tries to go forward, but then Ogles be able to get his foot in and clear it away. Watson looks to control, looks to turn. Turns really well, going to go down the left, then force inwards, and then all you know about was making the run, but then wasn't found. So it's back with Goodenu. Well, now look for Tom Charles, which is the run. I think the he should have that covered. He does do so, turns well, and there needs to be some cover in defence for Charles, with his the Bastide is tearing down the left, sends a long ball forward, looking for Hoare, chests it down well, goes to the left to find Le Bastide again, who collects well on that left wing. Back now down to Nysel. Nysel being covered, and then back to Le Bastide, and foot did go in from Charles, but it remains with Pontifrac. Here it is, ball goes in, blocked by the hog, and then pulls Nix off, and then lets off Nova. No, 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 he's got to think about doing himself, he's got Watson on the right, tries to find Watson, Hog, I mean, but Hog wasn't committing to the run, and that attacked over. But back with Pontifrac. One minute of out of time done. Phillipson heads a long ball forward away, but it's only going to go back to Metcalf. Trying to spread out to the Bastille, but good sign challenge goes in for Charles of, out for a Pontifrac. Oh. Rotherham on leading again against Millwall to Charlie White. As Pontefract try and build, but Stockbridge have defended that one. Back with Goodwin, and then back to Philipson, who will clear that one away. But it's just going to give it right back to Pontefract here. With Steers, who takes time, pull pressing, as it's now spread over towards Joshua Burns, and all the way back to Allinson. Allinson, oh, back, gets it back into his defence. And Daniel Burns will carry this forward. Gets it beyond Novak, who maybe he'll think, I should have done it myself. And Tocco did go in the tackle. Pontefract waited for a free kick to begin, so it's not given. Poole will knock it off a Ponty man and get the throw in. Two minutes of the five added have gone. Charles with, with the big throw down the line. Headed out for another Stocksbridge throw. We're waiting for it. Ball boy is taking his time with it. We've trained them at long last. Apparently, this is a thing Premier League clubs do now. He's actually trained their ball boys in certain situations. Ever since that, Eden Hazard had a fight with that one at Swansea City. That was my 18th birthday, that. That's over 10 years ago now. Pontefract have got a throw in. It's deep in their own half. Three minutes at a time going on. They've headed it on though now to Hall, who's on the left hand side. Little like Bestie, who's not one over the top, goes back to Oglesby, who will just boot that one down the field again. Battle for Le heads it forward. Hogg fights for it, puts it into midfield, but only back to Pontefract, who've knocked it down this left wing. Phillips and Alaster get his defending on. Hall on the left hand side, back to Boyle. Boyle being covered, shot is blocked, and Townsend will come and collect that one, and he's going to keep it at his feet until he's charged down by Nysel. Steels are able, are controlling the game fairly well at the moment. 
Another former Steelers got on the score sheet today. Jack Muldoon has put Harrogate Town 4-1 up. As Novak's have given a bit of a pushing around, which allowed Smythe to head out. So back for Charlesworth, who will have this throw in, taking his time with it. Big throw down, looking for Goodwin. Two players go over the top of him. And it eventually headed out for another Steel's throw in. Four minutes of the added time have now allotted. Charles with, with a steady jog. Again, it's what we love to when it's our team. I'll take full hypocrisy. I'd hate it if it was happening the other way. Paul's going to now try and take it to the corner flag. Though he's been blocked from getting to the corner flag. So Paul just smashes it off a of ball coin. It's the Steel. No. It's the ball. Looking it over, manages to finish it though, leads it 1 0. The Steels claim a vital three points. It's a huge blow for Pontifax in their chase for the playoffs, who will stay on in sixth place with Belper moving to four. Oh, we will. It's a fantastic game for the Steels, who claim a big three points. Almost certain a safety you now. We'll probably find out on Tuesday night, actually. So. A big, big result. Fantastic for the Steels. And we'll have to see if we can confirm safety next Saturday away at North Ferriby. That is our next match. We do have the reserves playing away at when on Wednesday and then at home here. Away at Oathbridge. Not sure who they're playing at home here at Rackham Ball next Saturday. I'll be at North Ferriby. We will see you for that game. Um, thank you very much for everyone who's been listening. And good night. <laughs>